All right, this is part two of the power supply for the CC TV and electronic equipment. So 100 volt to 240 volt AC 50, 60 Hertz. So let's open up this thing so that we can do some tests today and see how it powered up. And we're gonna use um, a wire, just like um, extension cable, but no extension cable, like um, uh, a power strip cable. I have one of them, let's try it and see how it powered up. And we can see what we can do with this um, cable. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA. I'm sorry, how are we gonna do with the box? All right, let's open up this box again and remove the equipment and set it up here. And here we go. Like and subscribe. Here goes the box. We already took it out. And guys, and what I've done, went ahead and um, set up the the cable. There goes the cable all the way to the power strip. So, and um, here we go. And I got this guy already in here. So I already put in the, the wire. So it tells you the L and N line and uh, neutral. You can see that right there. Well, we can see L and N in between right there in the corner. Okay, here's the neutral. So what I've done, I try um, inserting the neutral here, uh, sorry, the ground on the last uh, uh, nut right here, or screw, sorry, and um, connecting the, 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 the earth ground. And uh, when I powered it up, the power strip here, right there, was, was beeping. Beep, 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 beep. So this is a kilowatt meter. A kilowatt meter or kill a watt meter and I've done a video on that check that out on my videos on a kilowatt meter I suppose that um, kilowatt meter the earth ground is not connected <clears throat> so if you have an earth ground I've tried that before I experienced kind of that beep 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 so I don't know if it, it bonds or it's not bonding so um, I decided to take it off and uh, beeping stop so now let's see what we're gonna do we're gonna power up this thing it has a switch right here it's a good thing they have a switch so it doesn't mean it has to come from the main um, power strip on the corner right there it has an on and off too but it's nice because I have an on and off here and uh, what I've noticed when you power up this thing all these green lights gonna eliminate they're gonna just lit up bright light so that tells us the, the the connection is is there i suppose so if this fuse is blown any of these fuse is blown i think this light is off that tells you one of the circuit is broken or one of the other fuse here is broken so that means you have to change the fuse so let us see what um see exactly what i'm talking about here we're going to push the power and I'm just warning you, it's going to be really bright lights going to shine on your face. So, be careful. There you go. And now, it's already lit. And guys, you see all the 18 channels, I suppose. Yeah, 18 channels. Right there. <clears throat> I don't like the smell coming out from this thing. It's just like a electrical cable, like a burnt or something. <clears throat> Doesn't feel good on my throat, but in my throat. So, um, guys, uh, the fan kicks in right away. So this is. I, I I was hoping that unless it has a load on it before the fan kicks in, when you have a serious load. And the fine idles in and out or on and off to cool the component, but it seems like it's, it's going on continuously, which um, is fun. I, I don't think it's fun because I can check how much uh, wattage that this device is taking out from the kilowatt meter. So now I have just have to tie 
one of the bulbs here and um or 12 volt uh, uh, um, equipment then or any device then it's gonna power up so what I want to do right now just for a test like I said I might probably take this fuse out maybe number one to see if uh, number one light here is gonna illuminate like and subscribe JW Solo USA stay tuned so you powered off it takes a while dim all the way down how cool so we have 18 channels right there just for curiosity, curiosity sake so we're gonna take this uh, channel one fuse out and see oh no, it's not gonna break okay so we have it off and uh, the the circuit board I don't know I mean amperage uh, yeah okay it's supposed to be an amp but I think it's two something 240 or something by an amp so now we took that thing off I hope it's not gonna cause us any trouble because this uh, everything's connected so let's power it up again and see if this light here on channel one is gonna illuminate which is right here or else we know that that's how it works if the fuse is blown there is no power on the LED stay tuned like and subscribe yeah we go I'm absolutely right so guys you see number one LED is off. This tells you that the fuse is blown. There is no connection that uh, the power passes through here through this uh, glass fuse. Looks like a bulb or any of the lights they use for um, a car. So if we have this connected here, I don't want to do that by surging uh, the, the, the system and maybe it can blow the fuse i don't have any spears that comes with this that's the other thing i have to be worried about i have to op take one of these guys out like today and record it, the, the 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 model number there and the voltage so i can look for them and have some spears okay like and subscribe so power up power down this device again this um power supply reminds me of a sky blue sky blue mppt charge controller um make sky blue sorry make sky blue it seems it's the same uh, 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 um, uh, um, built and the same it looks the the, the functionality the way uh, all the the design is like a make sky blue but here are the specifications here you will see is a model number s-330 360 to 12 so it's a 12 volt and the AC input is 120 to 40 220 which is really good for international as well or whatever if you want to do AC uh, 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 split face whatever um, um, ah, um, yeah split face where it gives you the 240 I think that's what it goes for 60 Hertz and 50 Hertz international and um, it gives you 12 volt 30 amps for all this channel so now we're gonna do we're gonna put back this puppy in and we're gonna power it up and see um if it works. Okay, now it's on it's in, sorry, and uh power it up. So here we go. This bulb number one is on again. So look at this LED here to show on the outside of the box that this panel is active, it's working. So that's how it's gonna look like. See the 12 volt indication, so you can mistake it for any other uh, panel, breaker panel. That's gonna say maybe two, 240 or 120 or whatever it is. It says 12 volt right here, and you know that's a 12 volt device. This box is powering. You can see the green lights coming from the side, and from the knockout, I can able to utilize this and pierce this thing or really punch it. Then this thing is gonna be here act like a strain relief so that the wire can be rubbing on the sides here and get cut up you know as time goes on and whatever you can able to use a strain relief thing here that fits in here and you can just uh, tighten up and hold the, the cable instead of using this because if you yank the cable out and you're gonna just uh, remove it right from the circuit right there on the corner side of these uh, stuff this one here where the connection all comes to play so what we're gonna do um, we're gonna set up this thing and make sure we power it up 
uh, 12 volt device and see how everything works each channel here we can use it as a dedicated channel and I think um, everything is working great now guys like and subscribe JW Solar USA well if you can remember a while ago um, I have this 12 volt fan that has uh, is a smart fan is called and it's a 12 volts is is drawing a less than an amp half an amp so guys it's not gonna blow the fuse at all but there's a potential for this fan to do that and you see the green um the red dot right here is a temperature control which remember i mentioned that in one of my videos i made um this fan is made in thailand and uh, it's a brushless fan and it's a 12 volt so we're gonna cut snip this wire right here this plug and what we're gonna do we're gonna utilize it and put it to one of these channels right here before we're gonna do that positive or negative before we're gonna do that you see the indication right there positive negative before we're gonna do that guys I wanna tap into one of these guys here and uh, we're gonna take these um, um, units out this knockout so doing so we can able to put the probes right here and test the voltage first before applying any um, uh, uh, device into that like and subscribe JW Solar USA now I have the probes right here it's just about taking these guys out I can able to use them halfway like this but we want the probes to get all the way in I'm gonna stick them right in here to make sure um, we utilize the uh, stuff but it's not easy for this to get done but we can make it happen so right now what we're gonna do or we have done what we have done right now is like putting the positive here to the plus and because of I cannot go through this hole to have two of them so that it can fit right in there I'll use my hand to hold one of these guys here um, so that we can turn the power on and uh, test the uh, show the test here on the meter so we're gonna put it here on DC which is right there on a DC volts so we're gonna power this guy and right now if I touch this there's no power it's gonna show it's really like a uh, 0.7 volts okay let's see there we go it's reading a 12.22 volt because we have this thing all attached to the probes because if they were a defective it wasn't gonna lit up this LED so we have this but unfortunately this meter doesn't have any um, amperage meter or whatever you had a millivolt to get a um, AC volt on off um, it has uh, ohms diodes and hurt okay let's see what's the hurt here if it's gonna work I mean it's gonna be on AC sorry so never mind just curious so it's working so what we're gonna do now we're gonna use this fan now and snip this wire this plug right here and connect it direct to see what is gonna power. Lesson learned, never cut some of these wires all the way to the end. You might probably utilize the plug later and if you don't think you're gonna do that, well, it's okay, but just leave a little spot there. You can able to utilize, cut this thing and we can use these wires here, you know, and test one of the channels. Okay. All right, guys. This is what it is. The fan is already connected to channel 12. And what we're going to do, we're going to push the power here and start up this thing. Take a look of the um, the uh, the fan right here. I don't want to stress this wire. I can go this way or that way. But um, I was going to show you guys. Look at the fan. So let's power it up. The fan's going to power, start spinning. There we go. Spinning. So it's giving out 12 volts. So let's try and get this meter to 
DC volt. You got a positive right here and negative right there. And we'll see what we're gonna do. I have to be careful so I can be dropping stuff. All right, guys. Um, the fan is spinning right now. You can see it. And it's still reading the 12. Okay, let's check this. Still reading the 12 point two zero 12 volt 20 12 point two zero volt DC from the same plug that I'm utilizing right now for the fan so that means um, this device is doing the job so this fan can only take um, um, half an amp so if you oh my finger almost got into that thing that's a little bit stuff right there so you can see it's an half an amp right there 0 0.5 amps so does I have no problem powering this fan I can power 18 of this fan simultaneously so we don't have any problem and this guy right here is is, is um, spinning as well the power supply so I think that completes our video and I just want to make sure that everything works and um, you guys are seeing what I'm doing here sticking the air from the front and you know pushing it backwards to cool so this sensor temperature sensor I don't know how it works but it's there I don't know it's from the plug right here it's a DC the positive negative there's a jumper all the way here maybe it's controlled by uh, a motherboard so they can it, it, after um, uh, um, 40 degrees C 40 degrees Celsius then I think the fan supposed to power it up it's a temperature control when well, I runs simultaneously or right away as soon as I plug the thing on and um, I was thinking I was gonna use um, um, uh, touch right here to heat up this thing a little bit as soon as you reach, reach to the 40 degrees it's gonna be like 101 or something 110 very close 101 and I thought it's gonna trigger a fan it, it, it works like that was a brushless fan supposed to work for a very long time guys so I'm not worried about it and um, it works it works and uh, this one is running here and cooling the circuit board and this is our test like and subscribe bye for now